So we've just been out and got the um, bike up to normal running temperature. Um, so the oil was nice and hot, so we're ready to undo the bolt. You've got a 24 mil bolt here. So I'm gonna use a ratchet to undo that and drain the oil in the jug. Um, the oil that I'm gonna be using is this. So this is the 10W 40-4T. So I've slackened it off. I should probably be wearing gloves, to be honest with you. Uh, let's go and get some gloves. Okay, so you can see it just dripping now. Let's uh, unplug this a little bit more. Get the flow going. There we go. Oh. Obviously get yourself a pan to save yourself 10 minutes of clearing up oil. It is. It was a little bit tricky to pull out. Um, I ended up using two screwdrivers, so there's a filter. Um, maybe I had to just clean that, to be honest with you, because this is only done um, coming up to 1,500 kilometres. So um, I'm going to just clean that and put it back in, because you can just see a little bit of dirt there. Nothing too much. Um, yeah. So that's the option we're going to go for. So just a note, if you're going to be doing an oil change on a FB Mondal flat track, uh, you might want to either remove this plastic or get some cardboard in there to stop the oil dripping out and then going all over the floor, which is what I had, as you see in one of the other videos. Um, obviously, that's not your air filter in there. Um, the air filter is actually on the other side. So behind oil filter rather is in there so um mine was the early service so i'll change the oil filter once it's done about 3,000 kilometers so i've cleaned the filter and just put the bolt back in um so that's fully talked up um and we're ready to put the engine oil back in but first we're just going to get access to the air filter so on this particular bike, need the key. I just come around here. Wait for the click. Lift the back off. And there's your air box. So we've got four Phillips screws. Um, so we're gonna take them off. Move the tool kit. There you can see four there. So we're gonna buzz them off and just clean out the air filter. So I've literally just hoovered out the air filter just to get any muck out. Um, and then when you're obviously placing it back in, it seems to go this way, which is a little bit strange. And then back in there, move that cable out so it all fits nice. And then put your four screws back in. So four screws back in, torque it back where it was. Now we just put the seat back in place. So she just hooks into position. Get that on board. Literally got a little hook in the back there, you can see it in the middle. So I might have to get the key back on it and lock that into position. So we are about to put the engine oil in. So I'm gonna unscrew the dipstick. This there, you can see you've got your little gauges on it as well. Um, I tried to Google it to find out the amount, uh, it's probably in the manual, I haven't got it to hand, but most of them say about 700 millilitres of oil. So, and again, that's the oil used. I'll put up some screenshots of that if needed. So the next bit will be tricky. Um, I'm gonna obviously use the funnel there and uh, hope it doesn't drip all over the patio again uh, with the engine oil. So I'm going to do that and put it in. Comes out on a little marker. Let's see if we're within budget, so to speak. Uh, guys welcome to the channel so just to recap on some of the videos that we've done we've done the uh, headlight addition 
removing the uh, 57 plate off the front there and adding in uh, a sort of cafe racer style headlight. <clears throat> Recent thing obviously with the fuel line, just had to uh, remove the tank because there was a, a leak in pipe. So there's a video on that as well. Um, with the display there, I've done a clock set uh, and had to change different settings on the on the, uh, the visual there. Um, chain loop, uh, there's one on that. I've got to do one on chain tension because I've also um, had some uh, tension the chain up. Uh, obviously you've got details on there. Um, on the, the required amount, 30 mil up and down. Um, and then your tire pressure, front and rear. Um, and another thing I've just recently done. So, um, yeah, feel free to check out the videos. Um, I'm still happy with a bike, despite the number of problems, really, for a brand new bike, which you wouldn't expect. Um, I did have my screen replaced, um, which took five weeks, so hence me repairing the tank myself just recently. I uh, didn't want to go through all that again. It's just a pain, really. So, um, yeah, check it out, and uh, I'll add this at the beginning of each video, just as a recap. Okay.